All right, I'm going to kick it off. Once Saki joins, I'll let him up on stage. Easy enough. So yeah, quickly, Roland Dean, Cosmoverse, question <laughs> mark. One event. That was kind of unbelievable. Uh, the energy there was outstanding. And I, I have to kind of give a shout out to, uh, to the organizer of Cosmoverse because they, you know, they went all out from the event space to the side events to the, you know, to just the presentations and the talks and like the energy in Cosmos verse was pretty nuts. Um, so I feel, you know, I, I had to give them a shout out cause really it was, it was a really special event. Um, brought a lot of really, really interesting people together, such a kind of mesh of founders and builders and, you know, and of course, DJs like all over the place. It was, it was good. What are your thoughts, uh, Roland? Yeah, no, I, I, I will say I just love the Cosmos Focus events. Um, you know, I know Masari Mainnet happened before that, and I was, I had to miss it, but I was sort of happy that the one that I could go to was Cosmos Focused. You know, this Gateway in May, Cosmoverse last year, they're all just great. Uh, you know, people, people there that are all building, doing, doing interesting things, have interesting things to say, um, and usually some important announcements and news. So I uh, couldn't be happier. Yeah, absolutely. I have to say, I think I saw Zucky on stage uh, a few times. <laughs> Zucky, they had you up there, like, you know, doing rounds on the stage. It was impressive. Uh, yes, I, I, I think I did a good job of uh, representing all of my projects. Uh, and you survived. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I think Cosmoverse was a real success. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So I think, you know, it goes without saying, we, you know, we've been kind of touting this for a while. You know, uh, there is a, a launch coming pretty soon for IST. Um, you know, we've been putting out content. You know, if you go to our blog, you'll see, uh, you'll see we have kind of a, a primer on, on what's happening at launch with IST. But this is kind of a good opportunity to go into more details. Um, you know, Dean, Roland, thanks for joining on this. I think, you know, I'd love to, you know, why don't we just start with the roadmap and, and a bit of, you know, you know, kind of what's coming and then maybe shortly what's coming after at a high level. And then we can kind of dive yeah, into yeah. what people can expect. So the answer is yes. The launch of the platform is in process. Um, and IST on top of that, I think Roland can speak to the, the uh, specific events that are happening. You want, you want to talk about the, the, the wiring up of things, Roland? Yeah, sure. And, and maybe, maybe I'll start just, you know, for those that haven't heard it or uh, I can kind of, frame the whole IST product first, and then we'll talk about what's launching now. And um, IST in general is a, a stable token that employs a number of different minting mechanisms and allows uh, a, a governed committee to, or a governance committee to set sort of risk weights across those mechanisms, across those collaterals, uh, and is expandable um, sort of indefinitely as new stablecoin minting mechanisms come into play. Um, and so we're, we're really embracing that with this launch. And the launch starts with the parity stability module, which really is a, um, a way for the protocol to accept other uh, stablecoin bridge pairs. Um, so, you know, most, in, mo most coins need to come from other systems right now. We still don't have native USDC or anything like that. Um, and so the, the initial IST launch allows other stablecoin bridge pairs to come in and mint IST one for one. And what, what that means is that IST ends up backed um, in part sort of risk-weighted, risk-adjusted across different assets and different bridges. Um, and that is what is launching imminently and actually is now in sort of the, we have a, a, a series of test nets that it's going through. It's now in what we're calling EmeryNet um, and preparing for uh, the governance proposal to, to go live. So uh, I, I can That's keep going. I'll, I'll let I'll, I'll let Dean Prime with additional questions here. Yeah, I was gonna I, I was gonna add there. So and you know that 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 um, that first stage, I, I like you know it was. Uh, I think both Zucky and you at one point showed me a trading desk of stable tokens of here's you know in some in in um, some ecosystems here's twenty different versions of 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 stable coins, which is great for yield farms, but end users, you know, when they come in, they want to just be able to, 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 you know, pay something that's like a dollar, you know, I mean, you know, pay a, a 
a token and not think about what of the 20 different currencies that are floating around am I going to use for interaction? And so, you know, the, the consolidating all of these sources um, uh, is, is uh, of, of, of minting is a big part of that, that vision to make the, make cross chain DeFi more usable is you can just use this, 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 uh, uh, base stable token and, and incorporate any other, uh, any other source of value into it. So, um, so that, that's exciting. <clears throat> um, uh, the, the, the process right now we're at is we've got, we've, we did, I know inside of Agoric, we of course had, you know, testing rounds and performance measurement and all that sort of stuff. Um, when does it go out to the validators? Yes. Um, so there, it is in testnet now and validators have upgraded on that testnet. And so there are uh, validators that are testing. The, the actual proposal we are targeting, assuming no issues in testnet, um, we're sort of expecting a proposal by end of week, maybe as early as Saturday. Um, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so uh, that would mean, you know, that would be mid next week for it to pass and then get uh, and, and for the upgrade to happen. So uh, really is imminent right now. So we're, we're really sort of excited for the launch of IST. Um, and, and I do want to talk a little bit about what's going to happen at launch. Um, so unless you've got other questions, Dean, I'll launch into that. Well, so so I do want to get to you know with Zeki, what would you know where would this fit with Adam two point and and um, uh, and you know if you have at, at this level on the IST vision, do you have anything you want to add here, Zeki? Um, sorry, I had to find the unmute. Um, <laughs> the what I would say is no. I mean, I think this is very exciting um, to see all of these pieces come to life. Um, you know, this like. There, there's a lot this there's you know this is the first production use case of the agoric virtual machine and the mm -hmm. agoric uh a kernel and all of this stuff um and so that's just like it's really exciting to see all these pieces come together yep yep yeah i i that that um we focus on ist here but man we've been working on you know reliable reproducible deterministic checkpointed javascript x smart contracts and framework for 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 quite some time and so having it actually go into something that people find valuable is 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 really exciting so yep okay so yeah dive into launch day what happens yeah. on launch day santi <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take it. I'm um, sorry, Roland, I meant. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the, the actual, the, the discussion of, of sort of the broader, broader Agoric virtual machine is, is worth noting because we talk about the parity stability module as if that's the only contract launching. The reality is there are actually several contracts launching, which include governance of the parity stability module. So... Um, people may have noticed that the uh, uh, economic committee had been elected, I think, several weeks back now uh, mm -hmm. with a bunch of really strong experts in various parts of the field, um, you know, and deep cosmos people, deep legal people, deep econ people. Um, and so we're really excited about that group. But it, what may be missing there for some people is that that group actually has sort of direct control over parameters on the inter protocol. And that is executed through those governance contracts with, which interact with the PSM contract. Um, and so I'll take it back to what is actually happening. Um, on launch, we have uh, the, the, the code that's currently going through testnet has four different stablecoin bridge pairs included in it. Um, and that is not to necessarily say that those have to be the PSMs that primarily back IST. It just, those are, will be what launches with it. And that is USDC and USDT, both over Axelar and the Gravity Bridge. So, you know, that's two, two assets over two bridges. So four total sort of IBC DNOM assets that are launching. Um, and each of those will, it will launch with a default mint limit, which is effectively zero. Um, it's a very low mint limit, you know, not non-zero, but sort of not, not meaningful. And what will then have to happen is the econ committee will have to convene and vote to raise the mint limits for each of those individually. Um, and that will sort of express their view of the sort of associated risk, you know, by bridge and by asset of those, those four separate assets. Um, and we're, we're sort of, 
you know, not only is that important for people to know uh, as the launch process happens, because there will be sort of a potentially day long period where they need to convene and do this. Um, but it's also the exercise of this governance functionality that we're, we're really excited about and ends up being a, a critical component of the broader IST rollout where um, we, we expect different minting capabilities to be governed and for that governance capability to expand. Um, so, so that ends up being a critical part of the launch. And then as, as those mint limits get voted on, we users can come in and actually bring those assets across those bridges. Um, and so Gravity Bridge is already live with Agoric and Mainnet. Uh, Axelar, we expect to be live for launch day. It, it depends a little bit on them. And so we, we may okay. wait a day or two. Um, but shortly after launch, those bridges will be live, the assets are available, and the PSMs will accept them as soon as the Econ Committee vote uh, passes. So there's, there's sort of no delay there. So, Roland, when you talk about adjusting those minting limits, where does the governance on that come from? Is that a community thing or is that coming out of the Econ Committee? Yeah, the, the Econ Committee has direct control over those minting limits and, and the ability to, to, to change them. Um, if, if the community over time disagrees with the choices of the Econ Committee, um, then the community can vote to replace the Econ Committee. <laughs> um, and so that is sort of how the community exercises control. But one of the goals was to avoid having a, a total a token vote for every parameter change in system. And so as a result, the econ committee can make those choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that governance structure seems to make sense to me as well. Uh, so one final question on that. Uh, do we know anything about the parameters, conditions, prerequisites that have to be met for an adjustment to that minting limit to occur? By, what, by the way, what's before the you guiding answer, light? Before you answer, that's Rick of, of of the DCF. So so he runs the the foundation that 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 also is helping with community governance and community fund and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, back to you, Roland. Yeah, and 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 so thank you, Rick. That, that, that's a great question. So um, there's sort of a few factors that that um, we expect the econ committee to be considering early on. One is just simply the newness of the system and, and possible technical risk. And so we expect minting limits to be sort of start out slow uh, and ramp up as we make sure that everything's operating as we expect and as, uh, we, as we've tested and all that stuff. Um, but then in terms of sort of weighting of a, an overall limit across the different assets and bridges, we expect them to be taking into consideration the relative risk that they see in the assets. And that may be, you know, regulatory items around Tether or, you know, I'm just making something up. Or it may be um, things around bridges uh, that, that sort of include does the bridge have a mechanism to recover if in case of catastrophic failure? Does it have a fund for that reason? Um, you know, what kinds of what kinds of risk are we truly taking on as a result of backing IST with this this particular asset, which is a mix of asset risk and bridge risk? Um, and so the Econ Committee should be in, in a great position to make those kinds of determinations. And that's why um, we're, we're just excited about this group to begin with. <laughs> I've been seeing just a little bit of their conversation and, you know, it's always fun seeing people who are expert where they're bringing up issues just like, oh, I'm so glad I have these people thinking about it because I didn't think of that one. Right? So, yeah, it, I'm, I'm really look, I'm really glad that they're uh, uh, that they're participating. The other thing I wanted to add about your, your, your question, uh, uh, Rick, is. The parameter governance is handled by the econ committee. The software upgrade and f and feature addition and some of those core things those are, those do remain in the in the, you know controlled by a vote of the staked uh, build holders. Right. That's you know the 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 what new mechanisms will be added. Um, uh, uh, is a is a is a chain vote and then that will have a set of parameters that the you know the econ committee will then adjust over time to to make sure everything's solvent and robust and so forth but the evolution of the chain remains something that 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 is um or, and the evolution of the mechanisms remains something that is that is you know subject to chain governance directly yeah, and, and that also includes the addition of a new parity stability module. So right. adding adding new assets to back IST remains a chain vote. Um, mm -hmm. The econ committee is uh, able to control the minting limits to make sure, you know, if something slips through that really, or it turns out to become more risky than anybody knew, they can act quickly. But um, yes, to add new collateral 
uh, new PSMs backing IST, that, that is a chain vote. Cool. So what can people do on launch day? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so, so let's sort of move on to specifically what, what can you do? So um, there will be a DAP located at psm.inter.trade, and that will be the front end for the PSM, and that will accept the, the assets that are available at that time. And as we, as we mentioned, we expect that's um, Axelar and Gravity Bridged USDC and USDT um, in whatever minting limits the Econ Committee allows. Um, and that will allow you to trade one for one. And the reason you do that is that we are looking to, uh, and by we, I mean sort of the broader community, um, is looking to fund uh, incentives on liquidity pools, likely starting on osmosis, but adding Crescent shortly after that. Um, we've got some thoughts on where those might be. And I, I think it'll, it'll be up, it'll depend on a whole bunch of things. And so we'll need to announce at the actual time. Um, but that's what we're expecting to start with as, as the launch of IST. And we want to make sure that traders on Osmosis, traders on Crescent are able to access this token right away. Uh, and many of them won't have come to these community calls, won't really have been tracking the project, um, <laughs> but they will now see a, a deep pool uh, available to them. I was going to say, given Cosmoverse, I think uh, there's a lot of a lot more people watching than 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 uh, 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 than will show up at a community call. But so they'll be there. <laughs> yep, exactly right. And so um, for those of you that maybe haven't done that kind of uh, DeFi activity before, we'll have guides up and running. Uh, some of those will be ready for testnet uh, shortly, likely in the next day or so, uh, with screenshots, walkthroughs, and all that. But for those of you that are familiar, it's going to be Pretty similar to the experience you've seen before in terms of bridging uh, over IBC. There's a, a few Agoric specific things you'll have to, to learn to, to make the PSM trades, but uh, should all be very familiar and straightforward to those of you who are, who are used to DeFi. So I think, you know, so, so there's that initial rollout where the people actually moving and, uh, and uh, generating the, the, the first IST and getting it out to, the, to, to, to across other chains, you know, there'll be that phase. But a lot of people in the future will just be able to use IST directly on whatever network they're on, right? I mean, the, the, the real goal, you know, is, is in some sense not the rollout, but the pervasive availability of IST everywhere. And so there will be a class of people that won't need to see that tool. They'll use IST because they got it from whatever tool they had on whatever chain they're operating on. Um, but that launch and the people here in this community call, it, you know, that, 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 Launch and getting stuff uh, deployed and out there is is of course the 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 um, uh, crucial thing that happens in the first several weeks. Exactly, and and yeah, for those of you who are here, aware and um, sort of able to to manage DeFi and come come deal with the PSM directly, just remember you you can always get IST uh, at a dollar, right? So if you see it trading at a dollar five on Osmosis. Um, and it's not at the minting limit. Don't don't pay that. Come come to the PSM and mint, mint new IST. Um, and and so we're relying on people who who are sort of in the know to be able to to arbitrage those differences and expand the supply um, if the price does trend above a dollar. And that can be you. And and we the community here, not we Agoric. <laughs> Just to be clear. Yeah, and, and I guess the last thing there is, um, I, I mentioned Osmosis and Crescent as likely early destinations. Uh, we, you know, we talked about Cosmoverse earlier. Um, there were a number of great conversations with other Cosmos zones at Cosmoverse. And so, uh, you know, a lot of people are excited to bring IST in, and we're excited to have it roll out um, and, and get added to additional zones. You know, I mentioned it's likely the minting limits will be conservative to start with and will ramp up as, as we gain confidence. Uh, and so um, that will likely uh, lead to new zones adding IST. Um, we, know, um, we, we know a few other protocols are, are sort of imminently looking to, to chat with us about it. And so we're, we're excited for that as well. So just keep an eye out for new, new zones, adding IST, new things you can do with it uh, over, over the, you know, forever from now. <laughs> All right. You know, the, 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 one of the important things about this rollout, it's really, you know, uh, the way I characterize it is our focus is integration with uh, across the interchain. So the narrowest, smallest possible thing that gets IST out so we can get integrated into the ecosystem and generally in use. The being, you know, the, the, 
you know, no question in the future is being able to be backed by interchain assets and, um, you know, uh, you know, like Adam and such. And so that is, you know, that is um, a, a big part of the value of IST is it can aggregate the current crop of various sources of stable coins, but unlocking the asset value in the interchain is, 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 you know, a pretty crucial part of the future. And so, so, you know, the, exactly as you say, the extensibility is, is a reason to, is one of the key powers of IST um, that will let us carry this forward into the future. So. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Dean, you had mentioned Adam, you know, Adam 2.0, you know, yeah. what was discussed. That, is that, do we want to t- touch on that at all? I don't know anything. Uh, so, so that's an ask of Zucky if there's any more to say right. there, you know, uh, uh, a tiny, tiny summary and then how it relates to ISP. The biggest thing I would say is the relationship between what we, what we want is a world in which Adam is actually able to be more than just a, a passive asset um, that can contribute to IST. That's the Atom 2.0 vision. The Atom 2.0 vision is that, like the Cosmos, the Atom, the Cosmos Hub, and the Atom Token can meaningfully partner with uh, IST, and that the mutual success of both um, can become more than it is, um, uh, more than anyone any, either side can accomplish. Um, you know, the other thing that, like, you know, is going to be a uh, uh, a downdraft in the current Atom economics um, that, you know, Atom 2.0 is hoping to fix with liquid staking and, you know, changes to the issuance process for Atoms is, you know, if you are uh, uh, getting leverage on, uh, on uh, with, you know, just unstaked Atoms, right, you're paying a 20% tax um, for the lo- on top of, uh, for the loan, right? Um, 20% opportunity cost. Uh, for the loan, and you know that's also good. That's that's just an example of the way in which the current Atom design uh, really uh, slows down the development of DeFi in the ecosystem, and why I think we want to fix this. We, why, why the Atom 2.0 vision uh, can be a, such an accelerant to the ecosystem. And I think there's, you know, presumably some of this is in is going to be in pools in the uh, allocator where IST based pools will be of use. Yeah, a hundred percent. That would be uh, uh, a big part of the Adam two point oh vision. Um, yes. Is that you know, for instance, you could hold Adam could uh, uh, could hold USDC like uh, you know stable swap pools of uh, of, of the major Adam back stable uh, coins in the ecosystem and uh, benefit from that. Yes, yeah. excellent. Okay, Thank you. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I just want to also quickly mention, yeah, we've got some, you know, for close to launch day, we've got some fun community things brewing that we're going to share more information on and really excited for that. Uh, a lot of people doing work around that that I think is going to uh, help, you know, grow this community and ecosystem for IST. Um, you know, I also want to note that we, you know, I think someone might have mentioned it, but, you know, we, we do have a forum up if you go to community.agoric.com inter protocol actually has a section there so i think for longer form conversations you know if you have those you have ideas or you want topics to discuss um you know definitely head there drop those there uh that's now live so that's yeah that's a really good place so you know things don't get lost on twitter and discord um so the other thing is you know Actually, maybe we should just open it up. If anyone has questions, definitely request to speak, and we'll get you up here. Um, you know, we want to we want to make sure we're giving the community a chance to maybe cover, ask something we didn't cover. Um, so we, we can give that a bit. But um, yeah, I think this was really really awesome. Thank you both, Dean, Roland, and uh, and Zaki for uh, for your time today. Anything for you, Zaki. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're and both Rick. very busy. And Rick, thank you, Rick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah cool yeah all right i don't think i see any questions i guess you were all very informative on this call um okay i guess that's a wrap yeah if you have questions you can always uh obviously i think one of the main things actually i will add right is the econ committee as 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 roland said is working on 
you know, on what are the limits and those will all be discussed on that forum you mentioned and, or, you know, the, right. the, the, the information as the, the, the low level details that affect this come out, they'll be hit there. They'll show up there. They'll be discussed there. Um, and, and then those, uh, then that team will go off and, and, uh, uh, uh make it happen. Yep. Yep. Thanks for that. Yeah. That's, that's a great note. Um, yeah, where where people actually need to go and <laughs> see this stuff. That was one of my questions I had, so that's great. Um, yeah, so get out there and vote, I guess, <laughs> once all this is up. Um, cool. Thank you, everybody, again. The community is always for joining. Um, you know, We'll see you for the next community call. We we might do something for launch. It might be fun to do a little space for yeah. that. Um, you know, get a little party going. Um, and, uh, yeah, have a great week. Thanks again. Good stuff. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.